Hey everybody, we got a uh, special mail day today with this this package here from Pre War Card Collector. All the uh, the Nice Grant Hill cards that ended uh, last week, and I was able to pick up a few of them. I've also got some other cards here that have came in recently that I wanted to show, and then I've got got some really cool promo items here from uh, from Randy, which is uh, Dewan Dewan Wagner on Blowout. If you guys haven't haven't seen him on there, uh, definitely hit him up and and uh, see what he's got for you and see if you can uh, you can buy anything from him or you get any cool cards for him. Uh, he he was he was gracious enough to uh, send me these and they're just you know they're just cool promo items, oversized cards, some uh, uncut sheets, things like that and. And uh, you know Grant Hill, he was pretty well known in the in the nineties as being the uh, the spokesperson for Clear Skybox. So he has maybe more promo cards than than even Michael Jordan or or anybody else out there. So he's he's another really cool person to collect just just because of that. And and Randy was gracious enough to to send me a few of these. So this is ninety five ninety six hoops. This is the numbers cr or crunchers. I think it was numbers crunchers is what the subset was that, that was part of the base set, but. It's just an oversized card, um, promo card, and uh, you can see it's it's you know drastically larger than a than a normal card. So he sent me that. Um, he sent me this ninety seven ninety eight Z Force, which is just a uncut panel with Antoine Walker, Jerry Stackhouse, and of course of course Hill right there. And then the uh, he sent me a uh, uncut sheet. Uh, one of these promo sheets. It's not really the actual sheet of cards that that went into the packs, but they look look the same. But you got Hill and Bryant, Iverson, Van Horn, Garnett, and Duncan. So pretty impressive, uh, pretty impressive group there. Van Horn being the only only one that's not a Hall of Famer. So you know this is a pretty pretty cool piece. Um, and, and I appreciate it, Randy, for for hooking me up with these. Um, first we'll go through the uh, the cards I'm going to show here. We'll go through the uh, the ones I've already opened. I've, I've shown these on on Instagram, but I haven't taken a video of them or anything like that yet. And once we're done with that, we'll I'll open this uh, here on camera. Um, we have 99 2000. This is the Upper Deck Game Jersey. And this is the home jersey, and it's the uh, GJ 13. And this seems to be the tougher one of the of the two cards to get. I have a couple couple of the other ones um, one one black jersey and one teal jersey so it's it was really cool to add this this white jersey in there so it's it's nothing crazy but it's a uh, it's still one I needed and, and uh, you know all of these these 90s jersey cards are are very unique so glad to add that one up next this was one of the last um, non serial numbered 90s cards that I needed so I've still got a few I need but not very many but this is the 97 98 Top Stadium Club Triumvirate. And this is the Illuminator, and you can see it's extremely reflective and, and very very cool. And it's 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 an acetate material, and you can I don't know how well you can pick it up, but the camera picks it up. But you can see my finger through it, where it's um, you can see through it throughout the card. Um, but very 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 reflective, very shiny. And then the back is also the same uh, the same surface and the same. Uh, reflective uh, top refractor top finish to it and if these cards were numbered you know to, to 50 or 75 or even 100 there's no telling what they would sell for um, but they're very affordable so if you see one of these of a player you like just pick it up just because they look they look amazing very cool card next up um, is 99 2000 this is uh, my third hoops build your own Three, I've got three of the nine different variations now, so I still still have a long ways to go to getting them all complete. Um, this is numbered to 250. They all are, um, all nine versions are. It's 046 of 250. It's a very very cool card. Um, I, I, I like this picture on the front, maybe the best of all of them. So it's just a. These cards are very unique, and 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 for some reason they are extremely rare. So very very happy to pick that one up. Next up, uh, Grant Slayton helped me get this one. He, he located this one um, and got the deal done for me, and, and it was actually shipped to him. He had to turn around and ship it back to me, so I definitely appreciate it, Grant, uh, you know, hooking me up with this card. This is the 99-2000 Upper Deck Jamboree. 
and this is the level two, I believe, is what it's called, and it's the uh, the, the the toughest version, and they are numbered twenty five. So obviously rare, um, very, a lot of full finish on the on the front, which was kind of upper deck style of, of of their nicer cards from the from the era, and, uh, and it's, it's got the die cut die cut top and bottom edges. So very very cool cards. Up next was maybe number two on my want list, um, the never seen, you know, 98, 99 hoops, and this is the Slam Bams. I already had a Bams that was a, a BGS nine, so now I get to add the uh, the, the BGS nine Slam Bams to to the other one, and you can see the the outstanding looking gold reflective surface, and then the the Slam portion here is in a uh, gold foil, and it's on the top and bottom, so. That's the biggest difference you notice between the the bams and the slam bams is the the bams is a silver um, silverish blue color on the front and it does not have this uh, gold slam here. And then the other difference is is the serial number. This is numbered um, sixty nine of one hundred and the bams are only numbered to two they're number two hundred fifty. So these cards are are just just a pain to even find. Um, and they're even tougher to find in nice condition, and this one, this one meets both criteria. So it's a very, very cool card. I was, you know, excited to add that one, and I thought this would be my my last big addition for the remainder of the year when I picked it up, and and you know, and I was happy with that. And then uh, pre-war card collector, uh, most of you guys probably saw all the the really rare Grant Hill cards going across eBay uh, last week, and. They were all from that that big collection that you know I talked about on on Cardboard Chronicles. You know when, when Josh was interviewing me, I talked about hoping that some of those cards came up for sale and and you know and 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 they did. Luckily they did, and I didn't get as many of them as I want. Some of the prices were were really good um, as far as really cheap, and then some of them were really strong and, and went for a lot more than I thought. So. It, you know it is what it is. They they went at auction, and I, I looked them out. I looked them up, and I didn't. Nothing appears to be shielded. They look like they were just all at open auction, so the prices are what the, what the prices are. But one of my, well, my, my one of them, my number one want card, um, I was able to get, and that's rare that you actually get the number one want card. You know, outside of one of ones and some of the the various really rare cards that are out there. You know, there, there's some that that you're just probably never going to have like the credentials one of one and, and some others and and uh so i was fortunate to to get what i did and i was disappointed i didn't get about three or four others that i bid on and that top of that just went flying but that's okay so uh, i'm i'm gonna i don't know how they're ordered in here but i'm gonna try to save uh, the biggest card for for last so i may i may do a little piece in here but we're going to open these up and show everybody what's in them. Got to appreciate the good, the good packaging. Okay, let me set this aside. This is all tape shut. Okay, I'm going to cut this at the top. I can, I can fill the cards in here. I just got started myself here on camera. Okay, let me set this aside. And this is pre war card collector. So, big shout out to those guys for shipping it quickly and, and getting me the package here safely. And as always, very professional, and, and there's nobody else better in the business. <clears throat> Okay, let me get some of the stuff set aside. Let's peel this open. Okay, so you can see there's there's a few cards in there. And I don't know if the, the main one I'm wanting to show, nope, it's not on top, so it should be on bottom. So we're going to do these one at a time here. Here's the 99-2000 upper deck. And this is the high definition level two. And you can see 
the extremely rare serial number there, 21 of 25. Um, great die cut edge, gold foil here, upper deck logo, and right down here along with the with his position and, and name. I have the version number to 100, so this completes this rainbow for me. So I was, I was thrilled to get it. Um, and I thought this one went pretty affordable. It's not one of the flashier 90s cards, but I thought it was a definitely a definitely definitely a, a, a you know a decent price. I wouldn't say cheap, but but definitely a, a decent price. I'm gonna set it up right here. Got all kinds of dust now from all that packaging material. Okay, so okay, perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the, the next one down after this one. And I picked up a I picked up this card. It just went cheap, and most of you guys know I I, I build PSA set registry. So anytime I can pick a PSA ten, it's already graded. I don't have to send one in, you know, for affordable price. I I usually I usually grab them up. Um, it's in the new PSA holder, and uh, I like the new PSA holder a lot. So you know, happy to add that one. It's 2000 2001 Fleer EX, and it's Generation EX jersey. And I have a I have a patch of this one already and so you know cool to add a, a jersey card and it's a PSA 10 so nothing nothing crazy with it but, but certainly a certainly a nice addition just affordable I think it went for 20 23 bucks 22 bucks something like that so let me see if I can set that there without it falling over okay now let's do the, the two that I really wanted the most and the bottom one for sure is the, the one I wanted most. <clears throat> let me slide this over to the side and keep it on camera here but so I can see. This is 99-2000 Upper Deck Wild and this is the level two and you can see the gold gold shine to it um, and it's obviously very rare at 21 of 25. I also found it appealing that that the, the two cards were both the same serial number. I thought that was pretty neat, and so it really made me want to go after them more. Just that's just the the weirdness in me and my collecting that, that really pushed me to, to to try to get them both, which I needed them both. But I have the one number to to one hundred of this card, so now adding the uh, the one number twenty five. That's really cool. I was I was thrilled to get that, and and uh, th these I. I think this is probably the first one of these I've ever seen, so that makes it definitely makes it special. Um, getting it and, and it's a great looking card. Uh, it's one of the better upper deck cards. Um, they they don't have a lot of cards with this type of surface to it. Almost they don't make refractors, but a refractor type surface to it. So you know you can see you can see that reflective front to it and that gold gold shine and and everything. So really cool card. Awesome. It's a PSA ten also, so makes it even more even more cool so I'm going to set this right here and then we're going to show the big one and like I said this this card's um, very very special I've looked for it now for um, what going on four years or so um, and even longer when I collected Grant Hill even prior to 2010 I always always wanted this card I maybe have only ever seen two or three ever um, and a lot of the other big Grant Hill collectors theory and and Robert and some of these guys they don't even have this one um, either like I don't like I didn't and so I was thrilled to get it um, so we're gonna stop talking about it and we're gonna we're gonna show it it's the 97 98 and it's the skybox premium star rubies and it's card number one in the set um, I had the checklist I had the team skybox one but you know, I just this one had just eluded me for for a very long time. It just made my lot just a little bit because it's 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 such a reflective card. It picks up any kind of uh, glare. So, but this card, uh, you know, you can see you can see why people really go crazy over them. Just just one of the best looking cards ever. Great action photo there. Um, I got to put it in the new one touch when I'm done. It's very 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 scratched up. So that's. I'm a, let's be very cautious here, but 
I don't know if I can get it. It's not one to open. I'm not going to pry it with that. Let's do this very cautiously. As you can see, that's about, got about as many scratches on it as you can get. Very, very cool card. Very, very shiny. Very reflective. One of the absolute best 90s cards you can get. And, uh... <clears throat> As a hill collector, that's, I don't know why, it looks like there's moisture inside of it. I'm just going to leave it open for now. Just a, just an outstanding card, though, and I don't know why it looks like there's moisture inside that, but I can't tell if it's just scratches, so I'll put it back together here in just a second. But this, the surface on these... You know, it really draws people to these cards, and then and then the red lettering. You just you really notice the lettering in that hollow full and Skybox Premium logo, and and just everything about it. It's just you know, it just screams to be one of the best nineties cards. Yeah, it's not. It's just scratches. It wasn't moisture. So I really want to put it back in there before I flip it over. Serial number zero three one of fifty. So I just missed his jersey number by a couple. You can see that hollow full really shining right there. You can see the the SR to to signify that it is a star rubies, which obviously it is. So this card here is just you know that that uh that really uh really makes really really adds to my collection. You know that that was one that just has eluded me for such a long time and such a big card to have, and so um, that makes it where I only need the ninety nine two thousand. Um, rubies number to 45. That's the only rubies I need. And I have um, both of the first, they weren't star rubies, just this rubies. I have both of the ones from 96, 97. I have this one, the number one. I have the checklist now from, from this same set. Team Skybox. I have the base 98, 99. And I have the 90 fine. Um, from 98.99 and and uh, if, if you guys uh, see Spur Fanatic uh, John John Burleson um, just asking about the uh, the 99.2000 number to 45 and and how bad he uh, how bad he uh, he screwed up on that one for me I'm I'm, I'm kidding we 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 bought it um, last year at one point in time and it got lost in the mail and it was going to his house and so we we never got it and so. A little bit disappointed in that and I just like giving him a hard time. He 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 didn't do anything wrong of course. But but guys that's all I've got for tonight. Um very very big card here for me. Very cool stuff across the board. Um you know just just you know you just can't you just don't get an opportunity to have mail days like this very often and so you, you gotta appreciate them when you get them. Um you know just so if you like always if you come across any uh, rare 90s Grant Hills, 2000s Grant Hills, anything pre Panini, you know, hit me up at Double X the Beast on Instagram, Blowout here on uh, you know, on YouTube, um, Michael Moeller on on Facebook, of course. You know, hit me up. Let me know what you got. Otherwise, guys, that's it for tonight, and uh, hope you enjoyed this mail day.